Hi everybody, welcome to the demo of my new PyVision custom symbol named the Slideshow. The Slideshow custom symbol is a very lightweighted symbol that allows you to navigate from the current PyVision display to a specific web page after a certain amount of time. Here is the icon of the Slideshow symbol. Like other symbols, you have to select the symbol's icon then drag and drop the data source into the PyVision display. Here, the data source item you take isn't very important. The symbol will behave the same. So let's try it with the core PyTag name CDT158. I am used to put it at the top left corner of the display, but it's really up to you. We will see how to hide it in a few seconds. The symbol behaves like a play stop button. Here you can see a white square at its bottom, which means the slideshow is currently running. Since we didn't configure the URL to navigate to, of course it will not do anything for the moment. If I click on the symbol, it changes slightly and shows a white triangle, which means the slideshow is stopped. Let's take a look at the configuration options. The configuration panel is composed of two parts, which are both expanded by default, namely navigation options and visibility. Inside the navigation options group, you can choose to activate or not the slideshow. Once the slideshow is activated, you can specify a delay in seconds, which corresponds to the time the current display will be shown in the web browser. Its default value is 10 seconds. In this text box, you can type in the URL of the next page to be loaded inside the web browser by the slideshow. For example, the Pi Web API help page. If the target page is a PyVision display, you may want to see it in kiosk mode by clicking on this checkbox. Here, with the Pi Web API help page, it is not relevant, so I will let it unchecked. Inside the visibility group, you can choose to hide the symbol's content or not. The behavior of the symbol will be the same, even visible or not visible. Once the configuration is OK, you just have to save the display, refresh the page, and the slideshow will begin. I just press the F5 key and then wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's try it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, let's build a cyclic slideshow with PyVision displays. I have several demos of my custom symbols. We will use the heat map demo, the multiple manual input demo, and the histogram demo. Here is the link of the heat map demo display. Inside the histogram demo, I just add a slideshow symbol. Then edit its properties, paste the link of the heat map display, click the checkbox for the kiosk mode, and that's it. The slideshow is configured for the first PyVision display. You just need to repeat those simple quick steps in every display of your slideshow. Same steps with the multiple manual input demo display. Add the symbol, update the delay, 
paste the link of the histogram display, click the checkbox for the kiosk mode, save the display. To finish, the heat map display. Add the symbol slideshow, edit its properties, paste the link of the multiple manual input display, click the checkbox for the kiosk mode and save the display. Now, you just have to refresh the page and you will have an endless slideshow. You can add as many displays in this slideshow as you want. This is very useful for rotating monitoring displays on a set of equipment that need to be supervised in real time. The custom symbol slideshow also works when the browser is in full screen mode. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any question or feedback to share. And if you want to buy this custom symbol, it is available on my Gumroad product page. Stay tuned to my channel for the next PyVision custom symbols I will publish and demonstrate on YouTube.